Hi there, Dr. Gary here on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. We are dental practice brokers. We've been doing this for 14 years and I was a dentist for 25 years. Today's topic is, why did the dental practice closing get delayed 39 days? What happened? We'll get into that. As you know, we have been doing this for 14 years. We have 10 employees. We're in 22 states and growing. So feel free to give us a call. Our phone number is 201-663-0935. And our email, our email address is uh, website dentalpracticeguide.com or nationwide dental practice brokers.com so you can always reach us there everything you're hearing today is for entertainment purposes only but give us a call at 201-663-0935 so what's today's getting and we have an interesting topic to talk about today why a closing of a dental practice was delayed the sale was delayed but before we do that, we also want you to know if you're the big practice thinking about selling to a DSO, please call us. Generally, we know all the DSOs. We know who the best ones are for you. We're independent of them. But generally, they pay our commission. And they also uh, we know a lot about them, a lot more than, you know, in the industry, we do learn a lot of more, more than we can share that information with you. Also, when you work with us and it's a seller and a practice is over a million or over, we will reimburse your legal fees based on certain criteria over a million dollars. So give us a call. That's for all practices, million and above or close to a million and above. We will reimburse your legal fees. We've done that multiple times. Now, getting back to things. Why did this practice closing get delayed? This was supposed to happen like a month ago, but 39 days ago. It was a comedy of errors and a series of errors. A number one, landlord didn't want to talk to anybody until the contract was completely finished. Well, there's always some give and go on the contract because what happens, three things happen. Contract negotiation, which is usually written up by the seller attorney. Lease negotiation, which you do with the landlord. And bank financing. Now, generally, all my clients come in pre-approved, but you know you still have to finish up your bank financing because uh, you agreed upon a letter of intent. So this still took 39 days after the letter of intent, which is already agreed to. Letter of intent is, of course, non-binding, but generally people stick with the dollar amount on the letter of intent. Generally, they do that. Occasionally, there's changes, but I don't suggest that. Especially in the dollar amount, it usually leads to problems for one of the parties. So one of our parties just did that, and they're out of practice now. Because after they agreed, they uh, wanted to change the letter of intent to a lower degree, lower amount. The buyer didn't go for that. The seller didn't go for it. Their history now, the buyer. But anyway, so now also we had an attorney. What does the dental attorney work? He's a qualified dental attorney, but slow. Just a slow dental attorney, historically known in the industry as a slow mover. Can't get the act together. And that's what happened here. So you had the landlord wanting to see the contract that wasn't done. I had suggested just make a, a quick draft contract that has all the points in it with the sale price, get it to him. And that would have saved a little time because he was hemming and hawing right to the end insisting on seeing the whole contract, which is within his rights, but you could have gotten him a draft contract earlier. Secondly, um, the attorney for the bar moved slow, as I just mentioned to you. Because they moved so slow, it just tied things up, so the contract negotiation took longer. It's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But that was one of the drivers. See, the attorneys can drive the deal. And the bank, too. But you got to be on top of your attorneys. Work with them. Don't badger them constantly. Say, let's get a timetable. You know, they're falling off that timetable. Um, get, a, get a reason for it. 
see what's going on. Why is that happening? Why isn't this thing closing? That type of thing. So this one got delayed because multiple reasons that we just explained to you over and over again. And then there was also an issue with uh, some of the advertising, a little controversy there for three days. We lost time there too, but 39 days beyond the letter of intent. Uh, and we had already gone beyond the letter of intent. We had gone like three, two, three weeks, four weeks beyond the letter of intent already. So now this wasn't just 39 days from the closing day. <clears throat> this is 39 days after this negotiations went back and forth and some changes happened, website. That's what happens. You got to be careful of this stuff. All right. So we monitor and watch this for you. If we think, see things going astray, we'll let you know. We'll let you know when it's time to communicate with your attorney that you want to get this done. And a simple communication can move the attorney along. All right. So that's a summary analysis of what happened with this uh, situation. If you like what you hear, hit the, uh, the subscribe button. And uh, hope to see you soon. Come on down to the Jersey Shore. We're having fun down here. Thank you, bye. Thank you.